Hello, I am Jacqueline Hudson, and I want to share something with you. It took place for me last week, and on Thursday last week, and uh, and I shared part of this uh, last week, but the, of course the Lord nudged me to share all of it uh, in the fullness thereof which means transparency on my part. So, uh, it pertains to forgiveness. And that's that's all I'm addressing today is forgiveness. So, okay. Uh, but first, I wanna pray. So would you pray with me? Oh, Father God, I thank you for this time. I thank you for revelation of your word i thank you for confirmation of your word i thank you for manifestation of your word lord god father god all of you none of me and you prick the hearts of whom you see fit lord god anything that's not of you that i've said done or thought forgive me and I cast it down from whence it came, and I lose your love, your joy, and your peace in abundance. Father God, I need not pray that your word is peaceful. <clears throat> Only that as it comes out of my mouth, it goes forth peacefully and rests on the hearts and minds of those you see fit. Satan, I serve notice to you. You have no place here. The only place that you are is under my feet. I have authority over scorpions, serpents, and all powers of darkness. So back to the pit of hell with your cohorts, your minions, anything tied to you. You have no place. So this video goes forth unhindered. And with no, <coughs> excuse me, no distractions. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. And I praise you for this word. I thank you for those that you will liberate and set free now. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. And so I thank you. I just thank you for, for tuning in. And so I just want to get right into it. I won't be before you long. And so, um, <clears throat> so last week I was um, I was at the store wrapping up my uh, grocery shopping, and as I walked out of the store, uh, I heard the Lord whisper, "Set her free." Forgive me, I got a little tickle in my throat. <clears> throat> so, <clears throat> this is like my third time doing this video. So, I it shall go forth. And I know it's supposed to go forth. <clears throat> I've had all these attempts to keep me from, my first it was my phone, then it's my, the tickle in my, it's all these little things. So, I pray that this word sets you free as, it's, as it did for me and has done for me. So, <clears throat> I'm, as I'm leaving the store, he says, and I hear it, set her free. And um, I heard the name of the person and that person, um, I said, Lord, uh, which one? Because I know more than one person with that name. And he showed me her face. And like a little girl, I said, I said, but Lord, I, I didn't do anything to her. He didn't go back and forth with me. He whispered again set her free. He knows my heart. 
He knows all of our hearts, but he knows my heart. And um, so I, and he corrects those he loves. So after I put my belongings in the car, right there on the spot, I begin to pray. <clears throat> and I <clears throat> I asked him <clears throat> to forgive me and to um, show me how to forgive. The Bible says um, to forgive this this person. I said uh, I said, Lord, wherever I'm lacking, um, I'm not getting it right. Help me to forgive her. And the Zechariah says, um, in Zechariah 4 and 10, I believe it says, not by my might, not by my power, but by his spirit. And I'm asking for him by his spirit to help me to forgive her. And <clears throat> so I pray. And also it says, thank you, Lord. His word says, I, he'll help us to obey. The things he's called us to do, he'll help us to obey. So I I did that. So then he says, now bless her. And so I did that. Because <clears throat> his word says that we're to pray for those and bless those that despitefully use us. We're to bless our enemies. So... I was like, okay, Lord. So I did that. Then as I pulled out of the parking lot and I'm headed home, in front of me, there's a car, like this quick of a turnaround after I prayed. There's a license plate. On their license plate, <laughs> it said, um, it was Ephesians 3.20. And... I thought, wow. And I'm going to read Ephesians 3.20 for you, but I'm first going to read the scripture he showed me today. Um, this happened last Thursday, but today he gave me the verse that go, coincides with that, with what took place. And so, and I'll just get right into that. <clears throat> and it's um, Mark 11.25. My translation is the NLT. And it says, but when you are praying, first forgive anyone you're holding a grudge against so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. So, there are keys in that verse. That, that verse, verse 25, it's power packed. First is saying, Pray. It's telling us we're supposed to be praying. But when you pray, it's not assumed that you prayed. It is intentional. It says, when you are praying, first, another key, first, first things first, it says forgive. And then it says, anyone you're holding a grudge against. He said to me, set her free. And I could see the image I had was in my heart, she was behind bars. And the Lord tells me to set her free. <clears throat> and then it says, so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too. So it's like, oh my goodness. If we don't forgive, we can't be forgiven. The Lord won't forgive, won't forgive us. So I was like, okay. He showed me that. And <clears throat> I want to read the message translation for Mark eleven twenty five. 25. It, it spreads like butter. It says, and when you assume the posture of prayer, remember that it's not all asking. If you have anything against someone, forgive only, forgive. Only then will your heavenly father be inclined to also wipe 
your slate clean of sins. So, <clears throat> and that's powerful. Give me, give me prayers. Give me prayers. Those, they're fruitless. It's telling you, don't just go to God praying. Give me, give me, give me. But it's saying forgive. And then the prerequisite to be forgiven is that we got to forgive. So I hope that sets you free. And then here it is. He tells me to what to do. He lets me know the condition, the posture of my heart on that day, at that moment, in that hour. And then he says, now bless her. <laughs> and you know that's God because <laughs> Satan don't want to bless nobody. <laughs> Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants us to stay in bondage. He wants us to be in shackles. He wants us to not be free. And so then after I do that, I'm driving and the car in front of me, license plate says, <clears throat> is Ephesians 3.20. And I'm hoping to put the picture in of the license plate so you'll see it as, as you're watching the video. So look for that. <laughs> and many times we don't, I'm going to Ephesians 3.20 to read that. Um, many times we don't realize our unforgiveness when we harbor unforgiveness, it blocks our blessings. God wants to bless us. And he don't want, God doesn't want us to stay in the dark. He wants us to be free. So you see, he tells me what to do. He knew my heart. And I thought I had forgiven. But at the root of it, he said, set her free. <clears throat> so, Ephesians 3.20. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It says, um, blah, 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 blah. It says, Now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Other translations say that he, that he will do more exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask or imagine. Like we can't even conceive or perceive, excuse me, what God's going to do. And this time that we're in, God is present. He is ever present. He's an ever present help and he is present. So I, <laughs> I implore you to examine, take this back to the Lord, but examine your heart. And don't just examine because you want God to do something for you. Examine because that's what his word says. That's what his instruction says. Oh, and that's the other thing. Thank you, Lord. He said, he said, set her free and I'll open the windows of heaven. So, my needs are met. He's taking care of me. But this is another level of blessing. He said, set her free and I'll open the windows of heaven. We're under an open heaven right now. He's not holding back anything. His word is coming forth expeditiously. 
like never before, like we've not seen in this life, in our lifetime. His word is coming forth. It is manifesting right here, right now. And so he's so gracious. He's so merciful. He didn't even want me to miss it. So what does he do? He says, he whispers to me. Set her free. And I'll open the windows of heaven. I had forgotten that. And he just reminded me of that. <laughs> he said, and I'll open the windows of heaven. And we're under an open heaven right now. So, I pray that, and, and just so while we're right here, right now, let's pray that he, he will nudge you. That he'll show you, he'll bring it, ask the Lord <coughs> to bring it before you. If there's something you're holding against someone, any art in your heart. I also, thank you, Lord. I looked up the definition of forgive. Why did I do that? <clears throat> because something we can think is just so difficult. But if we understand the meaning of the word, maybe we could complete the task that much easier. So forgive says to cease to feel resentment against an offender. And in Mark eleven twenty five, 25, it says, <clears throat> first forgive, it says, but when you're praying, first forgive anyone you're holding a grudge against. And the definition says to cease to feel resentment against an offender. That's the key. He's giving you the tools. He's given us all the tools. This, this is the answer to the test. You want to know what's, what, what's blocking you? What's holding you up? It's unforgiveness. He said, set her free and I'll open the windows of heaven. So yeah, you're, you're living fine. But could you imagine how you'd be living? And we're under an open heaven. If you let that person go, you set that person free. No matter what, it doesn't matter what they've done. Set them free anyway. And I, I, I can assure you. I've, I've experienced, I've had my own cup as well. But God has moved me each and every time to forgive. Even just last week, to forgive. So he wants us to know his truth. Yeah, he wants to bless you, but he wants you to forgive. He wants your heart to be right. So, I wanted to leave that with you and just examine examine your heart. Go before the Lord and he'll make it plain to you. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Don't you want to be free today? Don't you want to know that allow his truth to reside in you to resonate in your heart and in your mind and in your physical body so just let that marinate with you today i was trying to make it as short as possible but there were things he kept reminding me to to say so um i love you but God loves you better and best. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.